And now we can no longer detect Zelda's aura. Because she's gone. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer dial search for her with your dowsing ability. In red text! If it wasn't obvious enough from me saying that she's no longer sensible, yeah, I had to put it in red text. So, my records in my memory, I, now we just gotta go back to the sealed temple. Hey guys, it's Advanced Logic. And yes, it's been a while. It's been a long while. I'm freaking tired. Well, not really tired, it's just like I've been doing a whole bunch of shit lately. So, this is Zelda Skyward Sword, and yes, this is one of the weirdest, or not the weirdest, one of the most laziest intros I've done in a while. And yes, I forgot to say good evening, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Who the hell cares, honestly, I'm just gonna be going along with whatever, well, I'm going along with the teachings. Whatever they are. So, now we finished up the Lanai Mining Facility, we caught up with Zelda, and yes, now she is no longer w in this world apparently because we can't even sense her with the dousing ability. So that's been going guys because, yes, I'm recording this on uh, June 16th, or July 16th. If it were June 16th, then damn, I would be recording these way in advance, and damn right! Get out of my face, I'm just feeling... I don't even know, I'm, my arms are freaking tired, and I've just been doing... Every, I've just worked all weekend this past weekend, and yes, I didn't even remember that I was going to be working all weekend because, yeah. At first, I thought I was going to have Sunday night off, but then I remembered, ah, oh, crap, three weeks ago, this one guy asked if I could cover for him on uh, Sunday night. And I was like, crap. So there went my chance to actually record. What the? <laughs> There you go! Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? I forgot about that! Oh, that just made my day! Uh, yeah, you're telling me, bastard. If I went down, if you were going down, I was going down with you, weren't I? I was like, don't you ever teach, didn't, you, didn't anyone ever teach you how to land without crash? <laughs> Birds? Tiny birds? What are they? Dude, calm down. <laughs> what is that thing? That's a Goron. Show it some respect, you bastard. <laughs> but how? Why? What? Where am I? <laughs> What's going on here? Ever since I've looked at you, I've been in and out of time. I'm sorry, you're tearing on the skeleton. My name is Zelda. What? This land's so wild, seriously, what is that thing over there? Calm down. What's with all these trees? There's so many! Dude. To give it to me straight, I can take it! Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with this place? If there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? Whatever, buddy. Just, just lay off the speed. Just seriously, lay off the speed and... Oh, so this is the other time that Link actually talks. I knew there was another time, I think. I think I thought that. <laughs> the freaking birds. Uh, whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now. But I think I catch what you're saying. If I got this right, Zelda's down here somewhere and she's okay. Damn right she is. I saw her, but uh, honestly, I don't even know where she's at. <laughs> she's she's okay. Oh, wow. That's so great. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. Alright, cool. Now get those birds off your freaking shoulders, man. Unless you take them in as a decoration now. Sort of alright down here. Dude, you were dissing a freaking Goron. Yeah, name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it... Grusland. God damn it, Groots. Nothing, not, not everything's about you, man. Let me see if I got this right. The old lady living in the temple down there, the road from here knows where Zelda is. Yes, she does. I see. All right, Link, thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. Big Groots will handle the search from Zelda, for Zelda from here. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skylar. Yeah, all right, whatever, whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> Then we'll, then when we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official. Then the two of us will get some quality time together. 
Seriously. Damn it, Advanced Lodge, you can give me a Hank Hill voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. I don't know why. It was subconscious. I didn't even realize it until Tits pointed it out to me. Alright. Bruce, get back here. Hey! Dude, I'm the hero here. You don't have an annoying spirit following you. I have the annoying... Oh, wait a minute. I see a bug. Okay, Bruce, you can wait. I see a bug over here. Yeah. Curse my need for bugs. And screw you too, buddy. There you go. Don't... Oh, I got it. All right. So a woodland rhino beetle. Collectors often follow... Polish the hard carapaces of these bills, make them tougher. It's the strongest of all the insects. Alright, well that's nice. And we got one! Hey! Now if I get a thousand of them, maybe I can create them to be my own little woodland rhino beetle army. If they're the strongest of all freaking insects. And I just gotta give them a certain potion and then shit. Maybe they'll grow like ten times their size and then yes. I will rule them all! I don't even know. Honestly, I'm just saying whatever the hell's going on in my mind right now because I am just tired! You gotta be kidding me, Granny! What? What is it, Hank Hill? Uh. You're messing with me. Say it again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say that one more goddamn time. I only speak the truth. You're not the one who will save her. The spirit maiden, your Zelda, can only be saved by another. It's been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so, to so save us. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm tired. My jaw's all freaking exhausted. As it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. <laughs> Shut it, Granny! You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Hank Hill! How could it not be me? Whoa! Well, I don't know. Listen, if it ain't me, why, why would I even be here? <laughs> if I'm not up to the job of being the hero, just who is? Right here, buddy. Right friggin' here. What up? Oh, now I getcha. I think Granny here's been trying to tell me you're going to be the big hero who rescues Zelda. What a joke! Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, but that's a load of garbage. I know you and you're no hero, shrimp. Well, fuck you, Groose. Actually, honestly, I cannot say that, even though I just did. Groose. Eh, I don't even know. Greetings, Link. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? Ah, uh, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. She is being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task Destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate they used, there's only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Link, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? Nope. I sense that you are not yet familiar, si familiarized yourself with it. <laughs> Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well and do as I say. Press up to ready your harp, then press A to prepare to strum it. Okay, buddy. And then point the Wii remote forward to ready the harp to play. Hold, aid, Raleigh swing the and Raleigh swing the Wii remote left and right. My God, this is. And we gotta swing it. We gotta swing the Wii remote at the same speed. Uh, she's doing that. Oh well, yeah, of course I learned fast. This isn't no ocarina or a freaking wolf howl. Focus and play in time with the pulsing of the circle of lights. When your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your harp. For the song I, s I sing will be a great help to you in your journey. So yeah, you just gotta swing in tune with the uh, circle. And if you don't, then you start losing those little light pillars that show up. Damn it! Hey! I'm trying to do it right here. Oh, fuck you, game. Why am I stuck at three? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Kind of. As long as I don't talk, which I'm doing right now, which is not helping at all.
And we learned the Ballad of the Goddess. It's a mysterious melody that has been passed down from ancient times. Oh. Holy crap. Mm. The harp you hold is known as the Goddess's Harp. It is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. This, the melody it brings to life, has the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as the Gate of Time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. You will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to waken the gate from its dormant state. Though your journey will put you in harm's way, Link, you must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the god eh? <laughs> Shit. I fear the seal has been broken. I expected that it would react to your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Oh, crap. I think there'll be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. Oh, crap. Oh, time to save the world. And if you're wondering, this is the end of the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not even a third of the way through this game. Alright, run, Link, run. Okay, never mind. Come on, man! No time to admire the scenery, we gotta get going. <laughs> Freaking boosh. What's with all the shaking? <laughs> the whole ground is heaving, heaving. I was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Link. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. I was kinda doing that, but you're, now you're just stating the same thing twice over and over again. Downward, Link, downward! Come on, Link. Run it. Run it with the freaking... <laughs> uh, of course, we gotta save the world with the net. You look familiar. seal has given way. I'll explain later, but now's the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. Damn it, advanced logic. We must not reach the temple. Alright, so this is the imprisoned. And yeah, we're gonna be seeing this guy a lot. And yeah, oh crap, get the hell out of its way. When you see its foot charging up like that, then it's gonna shoot off a little shockwave that will uh, screw you over. So what you want to do is slash at all of its toes. And yeah, it's gonna be kind of a bitch considering you'll sometimes do that charge, shockwave thing. There we go. And once you cut off all of its toes, then it shall fall backwards. And what you gotta do is mess around with that little ceiling spike on its freaking head. Yeah, this took me a while to figure out myself. I don't think they ever pointed out. Then again, they didn't mention the ceiling spike, so you gotta assume you do something with it. What you gotta do is hit the ceiling spike in its head. And of course, just like any other boss, or any usual boss of this Calabar, we gotta hit it three times in order for the seal to get taken into effect. Or to reseal it. And hopefully, it, come on. Oh crap. Sir? Are you gonna stop moving? Thank you! Ah, oh, thank god. Of course, its toes will grow back, and yep. Kind of, yeah. The toes kind of disgusted me the first time I played this game. I was just like, what the hell, man? And I'm trying to do freaking spin attack. Oh crap! Get the hell out of the way in the foot. Yeah, that'll happen. And yeah, be sure to get used to that because you're probably going to be seeing it a lot this season. Oh crap! I think you also use bombs in order to destroy the toes. Huh? Maybe. I just gotta. 
Position it right. Hopefully. Ah, oh, man, I'm not doing this right at all, am I? Nope. Ah, you know what? Screw it. I think you have to get him to step on it. But, yeah, that... Just can take into consideration whatever you can. Do whatever you can to keep this guy from getting to the top. If he reaches the top, it's gonna be a game over, but... Considering this is... Uh, well... Yeah... You guys will see. You'll get used to this. <laughs> God! Why do I feel like I spoil everything? Anyway... Now we just gotta make... We just gotta catch up with him. There we go, buddy. Hopefully he's not moving any quicker. And curse you, camera. Curse you hard. Yeah, I think he should be stopping soon, hopefully. <laughs> yep, he is. Now we just gotta do this one more time, and I think from here on out he's just gonna uh, start shooting those shockwaves from his feet every single time. Yep. So you gotta be careful about this sort of thing now. Oh, crap. Yes, be extra careful about his feet. Or I think maybe the shockwaves can do it. Eh? I think I got him. Oh, just one more. No! Crap. Crap. Son of a crack addict. Oh. <laughs> Damn. You got knocked the fuck out. Alright. Yeah, at least I caught up to him. And you're going to notice, once you cut off all the toes on one of his legs, then that, look, then that foot's going to start moving a lot more delayed, which gives you a chance to actually attack the other feet, or the other toes, on the other feet. There we go. Hell yes. Bring it, you get him imprisoned. All right. Come on, Link, move, 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 move. We get it, he's down. <laughs> We get it, he's down with Seth. Let's show Bruce how badass we really are. Now, Link. Alright. Strike the ceiling spike with a Skyward Strike and restore the seal. Quickly! Alright. You ain't gotta tell me twice. Yeah. How about I just do it with the bomb and just get it over with? Alright, fine. Never mind. I'll do it the proper way, the way the goddess intended. God damn it. Damn right. <laughs>